Lots of dietitians wonder if anyone reads their nutrition assessment notes. The answer is yes. Today we're going to review five key points to help improve the clarity of your notes. Number one, keep it clear and concise. This makes sure that your audience can easily understand your documentation. Eliminate unnecessary words like don't write patient reports 10 times. Avoid confusing acronyms or jargon that other disciplines won't understand. Keep it in a logical order. Use accurate information and correct dates. Be short and clear, don't ramble, but yet be comprehensive. Medical providers understand objective data rather than because I think so. So make sure you convey confidence. After all, you are the nutrition expert. Number two, practice professionalism. Construct your sentences carefully using proper grammar. Use approved medical terminology and abbreviations. For example, grams is abbreviated with a lowercase g, magnesium is a capital M and lowercase g, and milliliter is a lowercase m and a capital L. Approved abbreviations help to prevent medical errors. Use caution with terminology that can be perceived as judgmental or inflammatory. Instead of saying alcoholic, we now use the term alcohol use disorder. Permanent visual impairment instead of blindness and substance use disorder rather than drug addict. Choose your words deliberately and always be respectful. Number three, be original. Tell your story. You can refer to other clinicians notes, but don't copy and paste. What will the other clinicians learn from reading your note and only your note? For example, tell why your patient is tolerating their tube feeding therapy and not just because the nurse says so. Get to know your patients and don't skip face-to-face -face meetings. Engage with your patient and chart information that shows that engagement. It can be as simple as writing that the patient prefers vanilla over chocolate supplements, the patient has never been a breakfast eater, or foods brought in from the family are better accepted. This can help you remember them upon follow-up and shows that you physically visited them and provided relationship-based clinical practice. Share your own physical assessments. This can include an official NFPE or unofficial observations like documenting the location of a feeding tube, dentition, contractures, and more. Share your expertise and prove your worth as a valuable team member. Number four, data integration. Use your clinical judgment to make sense of everything. Align all the required and chosen nutrition data together so that anyone can understand the big picture. This is a high level skill that can either be intuitive or develops with practice. SOAP and ADIME algorithms are checklists of data that you must include in your notes, but what does it all mean? That's your job to document your interpretation of the data. And number five, follow through. Actions speak louder than words, so how are you making your nutrition interventions come to fruition? Remember, you may not get a chance to see this patient again, so educate patients and families even if you didn't get a consult but you know they need it, such as a post-op patient with a new colostomy. Modify the diet order, add or adjust the nutrition supplements, forecast the discharge process, Transition nutrition regimens and include discharge recommendations in your documentation. Nobody likes a last minute discharge scramble. Discuss your concerns or interventions with the patient's team providers if they need to change or add orders, such as holding a scheduled bowel regimen with loose stools or starting a bowel regimen while on pain meds to prevent constipation. And yes, this includes the pink elephant in the room goals of care, and what the advanced directives state about receiving artificially administered nutrition and hydration. Be your patient's advocate and align all nutrition therapies with their goals of care. Update the whiteboard in the room. Add the diet office phone number. Does the patient have a hospital phone and can they reach it and do they know how to use it? Collaborate with nursing on any changes that they need to know. Bottom line is make it happen. Nutrition clinicians sometimes sell themselves short. Our services are not billed for and we may be looked upon as undervalued. Remember that we make a difference. Write a confident and effective note that shares your expertise 
teaches something new, and shows that you are a valuable team member.